All right, we're gonna make us some dumplings, some vegan dumplings today. So let's get started. So first of all, you're gonna pick what filling you like. I'm choosing carrots, um, celery, red pepper, some cabbage, and some red onion. Um, a lot of people like mushrooms in there. I hate mushrooms, so I'm not gonna be doing mushrooms. Um, then we'll cook them up a bit, um, put some spices in there, and I'll show you that in a second. Whoa. Alright, so I've got my carrots and my celery and my cabbage, my red onion and my red peppers. Now I'm going to saute them in the pan and get them soft. Okay, so I put a couple of tablespoons of water in the pan and it's getting hot here so I'm going to add my vegetables. So it depends on how many dump dumplings you plan on making for how much stuff you're going to cut up. So. I'm just doing trial and error right now because I have no idea how it's going to turn out or how much because when it sautés down, it'll uh, lose moisture so there'll be less, it'll cook down. I'm going to add, this is Garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon. Onion powder, half a teaspoon. And ginger. I guess a little more than half a teaspoon there. Depends on how much you like spices, I guess. Forgot. Probably, I don't know, a couple tablespoons. Let that cook up till it gets soft. Pretty much cooked through. And we'll get started on the dumplings. So you can buy dumpling wrappers, but I don't do that. So I read this um, recipe online. It's basically just whole wheat flour, and you just add water until you get a dough here. Basically, sprinkle a little of this on the counter. Don't want to work it too much or it'll get tough. I'll get the rolling pin and roll that out. So I've rolled this out to quite a big uh, area here. I don't know, eighth of an inch, could be, got me a cutting cup and I'm going to cut out some dumpling size, maybe I'll stretch it out a bit like this, it. and our Filling has reduced. It's pretty hot right now. I'll wait till it cools down a little bit. So I'll go continue cutting all my dumpling, my dough out. We'll get back. Now I'm going to take this. You can make them bigger. 
whatever. Take my filling, plop some in there. I have a little too much. Make it into like a half moon shape here. Don't have to be pretty. Pinch the edges. And then I'm gonna like push it up like that. There's our little dumpling. Again, stretch this out a bit. Some filling. Pinch the edges. Get in there. Now squish it up a bit. Cute little dumpling. I'm gonna finish making these. And then, I don't have a steamer. These are gonna be dropped into boiling water. I'll get back to you. Okay, we got some rapidly boiling water here and I'm just going to drop them in. It only takes a couple minutes. I did a couple earlier and then I drained them. They're really good. I will dip them in sweet chili. And I'm also baking some in the oven. If you have a steamer, that would work great too. I don't have one. I use what I have. You can see they're just floating away here. And then the dough is so thin that it just takes a couple minutes and it's done. Gonna put this one here. I'm just gonna put them in there so that the water drains off them. There you go. As soon as I take the ones out of the oven, I'll show you what they look like. Here we go. Here's the ones from the oven. A little crispier. And these are the ones that I boiled. Um, they're not pretty to look at because of the brown flour, but they taste delicious. And uh, I got some sweet chili sauce somewhere here. I'm gonna dip them in that and use my uh, a lettuce boat, dip them in, munch them down. It's gonna be great. Go vegan.